Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use index match formula within Excel to fetch a certain value. Okay, let's get started. I so in this sample data set over here, I have some sales data. Okay, I've only taken the product ID and uh, in the next step, let us say as an example, against this product ID, I want to populate the order ID. So here is my product ID and I want to populate the order ID against it, right? You obviously you cannot use the VLOOKUP formula for this. Uh, so uh, I'm going to teach you how to use the index match, right? So let us begin. Okay, I'm going to type start with is equals to you might be wondering that I will start typing in index. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to first start with match function. To help you understand this, I'm taking this route only to help you understand this better, right? We will first start with match, okay? Match, open bracket. So now it's asking us to enter the lookup value. Lookup value is going to be this, okay? Followed by a comma. And then it's asking us to enter the lookup array. Where do you want to look up this value? Okay, now I'm going to go to the orders tab and this is where I want to look up my value. Okay, and then I will type in comma and then it, do you need a less match, exact match or greater than? I need an exact match. So this will be zero. I'm going to close the bracket and press enter and see what happens, right? Now this has returned two which basically says that our uh, the value match is in the second row okay if i drag this formula a little down over here it says that it is in this row okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to combine with the index formula okay i i, I will type in index here at the very beginning of the formula and open bracket in the place where it says array here is where i'm going to select my order id column Okay, this is where I, this is what I need. When, when there is a match, this is the column that I need as an output. Okay, and then I'm going to type in comma followed by the match formula, right? And then I'm going to close the bracket and hit enter. Okay, and let us drag this formula all the way. Uh, uh, okay, one thing that you need to do here is we are, we are using an array formula over here. So you always need to confirm the formula by pressing Control shift and enter. So you get this parenthesis, right? Okay. And then you drag this formula all the way down. And now you see that the data is populated against it. Let us quickly check. Take, let's take this value and check if it is matching. So this is ending with 590. Let's go to the orders tab, do control F and come to the orders tab. So it is 7590. This is what we just populated right so the values are definitely matching which means that our formula is working right so this is how you use your index match formula i hope you've learned something new uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials